Hi everyone, um, this is Alia. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am here for your monthly um, general reading and I would like uh, for you to subscribe and also click the bell button below. Uh, and please do comment. I encourage everyone to leave a question or a comment and I will be answering um, to them in future videos. If you want to book a session um, with me, please go to my official website, found in the link below. And if you want to see a review of this deck, which is the Druid Craft Tarot, then you will find the link uh, below. So, this is it. So, let's get started with your reading. Hello, um, oh, Virgo. <laughs> Welcome. This is your March 2021 um, reading. This is a general reading and it might not resonate with um, all, but you will get useful information out of this. Uh, first, we will cut the deck and then we will proceed with the reading. So let's get started. Okay, so this is for Virgo. March 2021. Okay. So, there you go. Okay, that, that that looks like you. That looks like very good energy. Uh, okay, so there's a lot of um, hard work. Uh, you are concentrating on um, projects lately. You have a lot of ideas coming up. And it seems that um, you are starting to believe that the impossible can become possible in your life. Um, there are some thoughts um, that they're a little bit, um, what is it called? Um, troublesome for you. The reason being that uh, they're contradictory in nature from um, what you want to do. And that is the reason that you are being a little bit more intuitive this month than in general. So you are listening to your inner um, voice guiding you and that is not something that you would do because um, you would work with your analytical mind more and analyze things and try to prove things and gather information and then you will proceed. Um, usually that's what you would do. But in this case, it's more of an, um, an instinct um, moment in this year for you. And that is a good thing because you are um, working on qualities that they're not part of your nature. And that means that you are improving and um, there's growth. So let's see what your plans are, what you're working on. Okay, it's more or less financial. Um, it's not that you're in a bad situation. It's not that you're in a bad position with your financial situation. It seems that it's okay. It's uh, it's good. Uh, the problem is that you want to expand for some reason. And it seems that you've been working hard on something that is not paying off the, the way that you would like it to. It's not that it's not paying off. It's, um, you're not getting exactly what you wished for. So that is kind of a, because you are very analytical in mind, um, that is kind of a, an issue for you to solve. And you're taking your time to do that. Um, now here, it seems that um, the outside world is not really um, supporting your, your thinking and what you, you want. So... It might be the situation that we have around the world right now that is not helping you a lot and that is making you um, very emotional because for you, things could work on the mental um, um, plane. 
So anything that you can think of and analyze and come up with a plan, you're more or less confident um, that you can execute. And in this time period, probably uh, things are a little bit more uh, shaky for you. And that is not a position that you feel comfortable being in. And you're trying to work with yourself and stay away from all this uh, negative um, talk that your brain um, is pulling on you. But you do have your plans um, set in motion. It's just, I think that it's a matter of time. You just need a little bit more time. So over here, because we just said that you're not uh, familiar with your, uh, um, with the, the decision-making process that has um, to do or is based on your emotional, on emotional ground, and you're more on the analytical uh, plane, um, you're opening up to your um, intuitive side and now the thing is, you're doing that by listening more to the outside world. So maybe you're communicating more with, more with our friends and family, asking them for their feedback or trying to figure out what they would do in your situation. And then you gather information um, to make decisions. However, they're not um, information that you usually would gather. So it's not out of research, um, it's more out of um, conversations. And that's not exactly something that you would do. That would be more of a Gemini quality. Um, but that, on the, on the other um, hand, that kind of approach seems to be more helpful for, for you right at this moment uh, in your life because you're coming closer to um, others. And you do need that support. Um, that brings up a lot of questions in your mind because you're thinking that it might be um, some manipulation going on in a way. And you're trying to find the true colors of, uh, of um, people's emotions. So this is, this is um, a new gate, uh, a new door that you're trying to open up. And it seems that it's going to help you. So let's just see how that comes out in your reading and what it means for you. Okay. So this is uh, general energy. See how you're trying uh, to balance things, the outside world and the coming together with uh, coming together with other people um, uh, with your successes. So you're, you're trying to pull information and feedback by coming together with others and over here is your love life which is relationships marriage and in general your communication to the outer world here's your career and work you're in a very good position you are here we have money wealth and wealth in general not only related to uh, financial wealth. And over here is your outcome for the month. Okay. So as I already said from cutting the deck, and that's that's very nice that it comes through the way it does uh, to support, you know, um, the energy of the month. So over here, as I said, you have a lot of successes. However, there are small successes. So they're not in, it's not a general success successful month it is more um a slowly rewarding month so you're kind of a building up on successes by balancing the outer world with your inner world we see that you're pulling away uh and that's more of um of you trying to put all the new information and this a new way of thinking into uh, effect in your life and we see that uh, you process, again, information uh, from your mental um, state. So whatever happens in real life, you take it, you analyze it, you pull back, you just pause and wait and see what that means, how it translates in your life. And then you make up your mind by trying to balance um, your decisions. 
So it's not um, a risk-taking month. It's not that you will initiate new projects or take risks or be out there and trying to figure out other ways. More or less, it seems that you have done that in the past. And right now you're in a point that you need um, to make up your mind and see how that can manifest in the best possible way by being successful. Um, so as I said over here with your uh, personal life, it might, it might seem that you're a little bit distant, that you're not um, all in, you know, you're not very um, emotional, although you are when you're alone but you're not with others. So you're not gonna be expressing feelings and emotions uh, to others. And they might, um, they might take that as um, uh, being distant and keeping um, your, your space. However, that is a process for you and it seems that it will help you build up uh, what's coming. So over here, when it comes to your career and work, um, it seems that you you have everything under control. You're, you know what you wanna do, you're working on it. Uh, you might have some new projects from the past and you're trying to figure out how to do things. Um, you're trying to gain expertise in some um, areas um, when it comes to your projects or your work or whatever that might be. And when I say work, it might be anything that you're uh, being productive. Um, whatever you're making, it's not, it can, it can be, you know, uh, raising your children and you're trying to figure out new ways of, you know, keeping them occupied in the house. It could be that, you know, or anything that it is in your mind and you want um, to work on that has a, a progress, you know, coming up. Now, when it comes to your money and your wealth, your general wealth, it seems that you're, um, okay. So although you have a weird inner situation, when it comes to your money and your, um, your career, it's more set, it's more fixed. You know what you want, you're after it. And it's like your mind is there. You're thinking about this and you want to make this work for you more than you care about this situation with the, the relationships so for the money and wealth area of your life um, you have all this enthusiasm and in relation to um, your career and work um, you're stepping forward and you are um, executing you're making things uh, happen you're making plans you're getting knowledge you're getting training you're getting um, everything that you need to find or to have possible um, ways to proceed. So this, this looks pretty good. Now the challenge, because this is the outcome, and we can see that more or less you are successful at the end, you're happy at the end, you feel, you know, um, fulfilled. Uh, however, what happens, and that is a word of caution for you, is that you need you see how you have to balance here these two sides, um, this all this around you, and it's more of what you want and how um, you relate to other people. So there is an imbalance here, and the problem is that you might find conflict, and you might think that people, as I said when we cut the deck, that people are not being very honest, and that they're you know, um, they have their ways, but you ex you perceive that as um, not uh, being um, just and right, and you add qualities to that that they're not real. So you're not you're not seeing it the way it it is. Um, in its true form because you're trying to um, gain insight by using your mental um, so overall what is happening with amount this month uh, for you is that you do have all this success 
that comes from um, your career and money. And then you have all this inner um, kind of a research that you're doing to figure things out and in relation to other people and understand them. But you know, some people are more emotional than you are. So if you have a cancer um, in astrological sign, a person that, that holds a um, sign of cancer, it would be kind of a challenging to communicate because they're coming from a, a different um, emotional background, let's just say, than you are. And that will, you know, that will get you into a conflict with them. So let's just say what else comes up and then I will tell you what I suggest that you should do. So over here we'll have your, your health, which is pretty good. We have things that you need to concentrate on. See how it keeps coming up for you. It keeps coming up. Gifts from the past. So you have all the support from the past, the people, see? So this is um, an energy that was initiated from the month before coming into this month. Maybe you didn't pay attention to it and you let it, when we let the energy grow, like multiply, then it bursts at one point in time. You need to um, realize the energy and start working with it. So if there were people coming in, calling you, sending you messages, trying, you know, to get in touch, then you need to acknowledge that and give back whatever that is that you need. You know, pick up your phone, talk to people, take the time, understand what they're, where they're coming from, why they need to talk to you. Um, so let, let me see this, your personal growth. It, your personal growth, um, that's, that's again what I'm trying to say, comes from you realizing your emotional state, acknowledging it and working with it and being more um, intuitive, not coming from your um, mental thinking mind. Um, don't overanalyze everything. It's okay not to be perfect. It's okay when you um, have other opinions. It's okay when people want to expre express what they feel. It might make you uncomfortable from time to time, but it doesn't matter. Just let them say what they have to say. Let them express, you know, their emotions and try to be understanding. Take it with you and think about it. You know, in your own time, analyze it. I understand that this area is more important to you right now because you have your enthusiasm there and your concentration is there. But in order to have this balance that you're seeking, you need to work on this area. And you're not going to work on that from your uh, mental uh, mind. You need to concentrate on the mental in order to understand um, your emotional side. So there is a balancing that is happening within uh, you. It's inside, but it might come across as being more, um, not aggressive, but uh, fighting against other people's ideas because you just don't feel that you understand, um, you understand them. So try to, you know, uh, settle down this energy. Try to be more um, cooperative with others. Uh, try to um, understand, be compassionate, you know, not that you're not, but, you know, take the time to fully grasp what's going on on the emotional uh, level around you and why that is happening. You see, you have this initiating that coming from um, the past and you're exiting the month over here, being fulfilled, feeling good, but kind of uh, feeling good by yourself. You know, and you have all this contradiction, all this, um, um, not disputing and, you know, um, competing, but I would say more, it's not that energy. It's more of you um, saying that, you know, how, how sometimes we say, you know what, I've had it. That's it. I don't understand them. I don't care. Let them do their thing. You know, it's that kind of an energy. And instead of doing that, it should be, okay, sit down with me and talk to me, you know. Because you analyze things, you need them to talk to you. And a hug might not do it. Uh, the right words will do it. The right answers will do it. So take the time and do that.
you know it will be interesting to see how we um, enter into April and what energies we get there so um, I will be you know uh, expecting you back for April and see what we get how you did I hope you do great and you will because you will feel awesome it was nice having you here well um, see ya thank you <laughs> love you bye